Hi, I am Tuning Emmanuel, your online geology teacher from GBHS Maa North Cameroon of Central Africa. In this channel we share share videos based on scientific research and innovations, so make sure you subscribe to it, if you truly need well-refined knowledge in science. In this video, I will be focusing on how rocks respond to stress. Rocks respond to stress through a process known as deformation. Deformation occurs when rocks undergo changes in shape or volume in response to applied forces. There are three main types of deformation that rocks can experience, elastic deformation, ductile deformation, and brittle deformation. Elastic deformation, when a rock is subjected to stress, it initially deforms elastically. This means that the rock changes shape under stress but can return to its original shape once the stress is removed. The atomic structure of the rock allows it to temporarily stretch or compress without permanently altering its shape. This behavior is similar to stretching a rubber band and then releasing it. Elastic deformation is reversible and does not involve the permanent rearrangement of mineral grains. Ductile deformation, if the applied stress is sufficiently high and the rock is subjected to prolonged periods of stress, it can undergo ductile deformation. Ductile deformation occurs when rocks change shape, by flowing or bending rather than breaking. This type of deformation is commonly observed in rocks that are found deep within the Earth's crust, where temperatures and pressures are high. The mineral grains in the rock can undergo permanent rearrangement, resulting in the development of new structures, such as folds and foliation. Brittle deformation, when rocks are subjected to high stress but over a relatively short period, they can undergo brittle deformation. Brittle deformation involves the fracturing and breaking of rocks along planes of weakness, such as faults or joints. This type of deformation is commonly observed near the Earth's surface, where temperatures and pressures are lower. Faults and fractures can develop, leading to the formation of geological features like cliffs, canyons, and earthquakes. The response of rocks to stress depends on various factors, including the type of rock, its composition, temperature, pressure, and the duration and magnitude of the applied stress. Different rocks exhibit varying degrees of strength and resistance to deformation, which ultimately determine the nature of their response to stress. Geologists study the deformation of rocks to understand the processes that shape the Earth's crust, including the formation of mountains, the opening of ocean basins, and the occurrence of earthquakes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel, like and share the video. It is free of charge.